G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. Well, and so it begins, another random act of craziness here at the manor. I found me a cardboard box, a wax coated cardboard box, that it turned out fitted precisely onto and perfectly so perfect i couldn't believe it onto an old foam box that i had lying around so it got me thinking andy why don't you make yourself a solar oven you mug and so that's what i'm having a crack at doing probably not the most professional solar oven you'll ever see but oh well you get that on the big jobs so i've cut the bottom out of said cardboard wax box then I scored the sides so that I could bend it the way I bent it. Um, and that'll be my reflector panels to shoot the sun down into the foam box. So I'm also going to line the foam box with silver foil. I'm only using al uh, aluminium foil or um, aluminium, aluminium foil, aluminium foil over here. Um, I'll line the box. What I'm being careful not to do is have any tape so it might look a bit loose over here, for example, but I don't want any sticky tape on the inside of this box because I reckon it'll just cook straight off anyway, so that would be kind of stupid. And then we'll get ourselves a pot with a lid and we'll paint in black. And we should have, oh, I've got a couple of legs out in the shed. We should then have ourselves a bloody solar oven. And let me tell you, it's a pretty big solar oven too, I'm pretty damn impressed with that. Um, but I'll keep videoing as this random craziness continues and we'll see how we go, eh? Well, there's the theory. So we have the box lined, the reflectors lined, we have a black pot to absorb the heat supposedly, and what I've done is shoved a tomato <laughs> <laughs> Don't panic folks, it's an old mold, half mouldy bloody tomato, so nothing's going to waste here. If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. Um, and so we'll see if this even vaguely warms up. Uh, to be honest, it's not that hot a day. It's half past three right now. Um, but I picked a tomato, A, because I had a mouldy one lying around, and B, because, well, it doesn't cost much. If it all goes hair-shaped, who cares, you know? It's worth the experiment, I think, and not the most classy looking oven that you're ever going to see in the history of man. But that's okay, if it works, it costs me bloody nothing, really, except for about 50 cents worth of alfoil. Right. So there's that sacrificial tomato. Uh, it is certainly cooking. What's that, about 60 degrees in my talk? Uh, 80. Uh, 20 or so, I think, in your in American talk. Um, you can see the moisture around the edge of the pot there. I saw in my friend's um, solar oven, that was an expensive proper bought one that it did the same thing, so I'm happy about that. Um, and that thermometer probe is actually inside the tomato. So that's pretty good. Now I'm pretty confident. Just a quick side note, so you can see it's pretty cloudy you know there's no bloody sun out so I come outside to have a look and geez I tell you what it holds the heat well for something that's not getting any direct sun probably for the last 20 minutes you can see that temperature gauge is still up there you can see the tomato is certainly round the skin split I'd say that's well and truly cooked quite frankly you know, not that I care I was just doing it see if the oven works so I'm gonna call this one a success folks I think we've got ourselves a well and truly functioning solar oven I'll be bugging